a lot of people have been eagerly waiting to see that. We will preview that today. As well, we will show you our new RIPS products that we're launching. And in case you don't know, RIPS is the hottest box in the house right now. We are actually back ordered on it, and you guys are selling them by the dozens and hundreds. Second, we're going to show you the wide range of Epson products that you can sell, not just Workforce Enterprise and the RIPS and the Business Inkjet, but actually the wide format and the scanners. This year was really about building our business inkjet team and getting in this place. This year, our second phase will really be pushed wide format and scanners out through your channels. So you'll see a lot of emphasis on that this year. Also, we're going to show you our Epson remote services. Epson has a vision of connecting people, things, and information. And this is our foray into the cloud initiatives to manage your MIP and your customer base. A very important initiative for us long term. The fourth initiative, which is actually the most important, is that we want to spend time with you. We want to talk to you. We want your feedback. You, gave it to the, you guys are not shy. I tell you from last night, I've heard it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So we appreciate that. We want to hear that. And what's really important to that, if you look, we brought all of our field team here. We are here to support you and listen to you, as well as we brought our executive team. This meeting is important to us, and our executives want to hear directly from you. Mr. Kubota and Mr. Saiki. You'll see in a second, that's a younger picture of Mr. Saiki. <laughs> um, many of you have met them. They've come to the US. Some of you have met them overseas. They are really big supporters of our initiative in the United States. Mr. Kubota is uh, one of the highest ranking officials in Seiko Epson. He runs the printer business, a $7 billion business. And Mr. Saiki is in charge of international worldwide sales. So in fact, because of the coronavirus situation, we felt it was collectively, we felt it was better if they didn't come, just to make sure you felt comfortable in this atmosphere. But they wanted to send a few words of encouragement, so let's hear from them. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On, on behalf of Seiko Epson Corporation, I'd like to welcome you to Ink Boldly. Our apologies that we couldn't join you at this exciting and important event, but given the world's coronavirus situations, we are sure that you understand our decision to not attend. Business Inkjet is the company's most important initiative, so we'd like to express our gratitude and appreciation for your partnership. The year 2020 marks a significant year for Epson Business Inkjet in that we are introducing our new flagship series product featuring precision core heat-free technology. For your reference, we have just started selling the new products in Japan and the number of sales lead is more than two times greater than the same period of last year. Our commitment to you, our partners, is to continue innovating and bringing industry-leading products to the market to position you for success. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the event. Well, we made a significant investment in this business from technology to manufacturing facilities and the extensive sales resources as you will hear today. Together, we will challenge the industry and continue to shift the office printing market from laser to inkjet technology. We are excited to embark on this journey with you and we sincerely appreciate your partnership and placing your trust in Epson. Thank you for joining the Epson America team this week. Get ready to eat boldly. Guess which one's the sales guy. <laughs> All right, we have some executives from Epson America. Again, we want to bring these people to you, let you talk with them directly, 
First, I'd like to introduce Andrea. Andrea, if you could stand up and wave to the audience. Andrea handles all of our back office as the Chief Operating Officer and Chief Financial Officer, so service, support, uh, logistics, and finances. Most importantly, she signs my payroll check, so we always try to make Andrea happy. Next is Michael Way. He is the CIO for the company. Michael has responsibility for all the internal IT infrastructure as well as the external facing IT infrastructure. You're going to see one of the results of this team's work, which is the partner portal, which you've been using. It is a strategic initiative for us, and their team will be continuing to add features and functionality over the coming weeks, months, and years. That's a key tool for us. We'll talk more about that today. And then I'm going to introduce two of my contemporaries, Tom Bearsfeld and Richard Miller. So as I am for Business Inkjet, Tom and Richard have responsibility for the wide format products. As I mentioned, it's a strategic initiative for us, and we've been working closely together to bring these products to you in a much bigger way this year. The day is very simple. We're going to have a general session this morning to about 10.45. If they can get me off stage on time, we'll go to 10.45. We'll do some rotating sessions, and then we'll have, I'm sorry, we'll have a breakout session and then lunch. This afternoon, we will break into rotating sessions from about 1 o'clock to 3.45. We will have the uh, expo open for a while, and then we will depart for the venue tonight. The most common question last night was, Mark, where are we going tomorrow night? <laughs> I don't, it's always the same thing. I need to know what shoes to wear, and I promise I won't tell anybody. <laughs> As if this is my first rodeo in Vegas. <laughs> I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> and we're not going to tell you for a while, because we're going to make you sit through the presentation this morning. We'll tell you a little bit later. We're going to say this multiple times. 545, in the lobby, with your badge. 545, Robbie must have your badge. Otherwise, there's going to be a problem. Got it? Got it. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to introduce some of our partner event sponsors. These are some of the key partnerships that we have in place that uh, came to join our event and who you should interface. First, I'd like to uh, talk about Evolved Office. All these people will have their booths outside. You can go talk to them. Evolved Office for us is a strategic partner to help on demand generation. A big initiative for us is Sell Through. I've used them for years. Many of you have used them for years. So if you have customer lists, mailing lists, have campaigns that you want to use, they take those combined with our materials that we've developed and help you go to market. They're actually your initiatives helped by Evolved Office and us. I encourage you, for Sell Through purposes, you should go talk to them about their services. Highly recommend it. Great America, I have to say, unfortunately, I've been working with them for decades, because that's how old I am, but they are the premier leasing company in the industry. If you don't do business with Great America, you can talk to them, or you can come talk to me, I'd be happy to give you some, some positive feedback for them. ACDI, they paper cut. Paper cut has been strategically important for us to get into the education market. That is one of our most successful verticals. If you want to get into education and you don't know about paper cut, you need to go talk to them. You need to learn this product and get it into your toolkit and your success kit for education. And lastly is Diversified Nano. Diversified Nano is one of the leaders in micro technology. So if you have financial accounts or you have small business with check writing needs or doing billing statements, they can provide micro products. They are out there, they're a great add-on, it can really get you into some specialized, focused vertical markets. Don't forget the mobile app. Make sure you're logged in and ready to go. So my next responsibility is to introduce our keynote speaker. Um, you've heard me talk a lot about it. I've been with Epson for several years now, and when I joined one of the main reasons I joined was I actually believe strongly in the Epson vision. Uh, I think Inchet is the first thing I've seen that could actually disrupt a stodgy laser technology that's been around for 30 or 40 years. But probably actually more important to the decision was the people that I work with when I come to Epson. You heard me, I got the shout out this morning, but that was a big decision for me to make sure I enjoyed the team. 
And Keith was a big reason for me joining the team. So when you join a company, you want to join a company with ethical leadership that really values the employees, the dealer channel, as well as the end users. So let's give a big round of applause for my boss, our boss, Keith Kratzberg. <laughs>